Sure. You know, you know, college offenses are changing so much. So a lot of times guys don't even have the opportunity, the exposure to do that at the college level. Um, obviously, the way they used him at Arizona State gave him some opportunities to show what he was capable of as a blocker in the run game. And we got to do our best. I got to do my best to, to utilize that skill set and help him uh, add value to our team. When yeah. Earth spoke to us, he, he did mention he put on like something like five pounds or something, gotten a little bit bigger. Have you sure. seen that? You talked about him, you know, just because he's not a bigger guy, having sure. to use kind of different strategies in the blocking game, but adding a little bit of weight to him that is helped him. Yeah, you know, I I know uh, Ferk worked his tail off this off season, and, and it certainly shows. He looks great. He he's uh, he's certainly looking really strong, and I know that was a, a conscientious effort he made this off season to to add to his uh, uh, put it on a couple pounds and get stronger. And and he showed that, and and he's still shown ability to move really well at the weight he's playing at. Um, so I can't say enough about the work he's put in, and it's certainly paying off out on the field. Sure. You know what? It kind of goes back to that versatility thing. I think our guys in our room, um, you know, Tommy's a guy that I think is a very capable pass receiver. He's got uh, excellent hands. He can body up defenders, and he's got a good feel for, for spacing and uh, versus zone coverage. So certainly we're trying to improve every aspect, whether that's some guys in the pass game or the run game. But um, I, I think Tommy's a pretty balanced player, and I'm, I'm excited, to what he can, excited to see what he can do this preseason. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, guys. How would you uh, say the tight ends? You know what? I love our room. I love the guys in our room. Uh, we got a great, a great mix of young guys and veteran guys, and they're all eager to learn. Uh, there's a lot of great communication that happens every single day in all of our meetings, and uh, and they come to work every day. That's all you can ask for in a coach, uh, for, um, from your players as a coach, is just to get maximum effort every single day, and, and that's something I get from our guys. So uh, as long as they keep working and, and playing the way they are with the effort and finish that we preach, um, I'm never going to have any complaints from us, from me. Sure. You know, um, guys like Jeff Swain and Adam Luke Stalker, um, they've been invaluable. Guys that have done it before, you know, they've seen every look a defense can throw at them. And, and they've been very, uh, they've taken very instrumental in a leadership role with the younger guys. Um, the, the communication in the room and out on the field is great. And uh, I'm really, really fortunate to have two guys like that in our room that, that have, have done this and have established great careers in this league. And, and they can pass down some of their knowledge to the younger guys we have in the room. Yeah. Yeah, obviously we'd love to have him out there, but when one guy goes down, the next guy steps up. So it has been a great opportunity for guys like Tommy Hudson and even Ferk to get more opportunities. Obviously, adding stock, you know, filled that hole a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's the whole next man up mentality, and, and it's been it's been great. We'd love to have Jeff out there. I know he's working hard to get back every day, but uh, you know, it, it just opens the door for someone else to get a rep that they might not have gotten, where they can improve and evolve as a run blocker with some of the stuff Jeff normally does for us. Yep. Sure. Occasionally, that he's dealt with sure. defensive ends or outside. Yep. He's not going to turn into a guy that's blocking defensive ends and yep. outside linebacker all the time. Right? Sure. Sure. You know, he's just a guy that's got to play to his skill set. So he's got great quickness, and he actually has, uh, you know, because he gets uh, pigeonholed as this receiving tight end, I think his upper body strength gets overlooked. And I think those are two things in his skill set, that if he can use his quickness just to get into blockers and use that upper body strength, uh, I think he can be a very effective blocker, whether it is against Sam linebackers or defensive ends. And obviously he's got the quickness to cover up safeties and, and corners. There's a challenge for you guys with that spot to not – Sure, exactly, and I and I think it starts with with growing the versatility of those players, so that it is an obvious tell that when someone's in the game, they're thinking pass, and someone else is in the game, they're thinking run. So it, it's our call to develop them to where that red light kind of kind of goes away when defenses are scouting us. But um, yeah, we obviously have to do a good job when we're game planning to make sure our tendencies aren't too strong one way or the other. And uh, I know Todd will do a great job, you know, covering that stuff up as we go. Sure, sure. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Yep. 
You know what? I, I think that's something we'll attack week to week, and that, that's probably a question uh, above my pay grade. But I, but I know this: one thing that that Raves has always done, and Todd's always preached, is that playing to the strengths of what we got. So if we go into one week and we think 11 personnel is our best group, uh, that's probably what we'll roll with. Uh, the next week that could be 12 or 13 personnel, and, and I know uh, it's my job that no matter how many opportunities we get in the tight end room, that I do the best to prepare those guys and take advantage of the shots they do get on the field. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Uh, Luke Stocker's the consummate professional. He's an awesome vet. Um, I feel very fortunate to have him in the room. The communication's been great. He's taken on a leadership role from the second he walks through the door. And I think those younger guys are really feeding off that leadership. Uh, Jeff Swain was doing a great job of that, still is. Obviously, um, with the addition of Stocker, now we got two guys. Two guys that have seen a lot of looks in this league. They've seen everything a defense can throw at them. And, and they've been very um, uh, vocal in, in teaching the young guys uh, different techniques, different fundamentals. Here's what you can do versus this look. Here's another technique versus this other look. And uh, I feel very fortunate to have both those guys in the room. Sure. Yeah, you know, and I've even though I haven't had the front row seat until this year that I've had, you know, I've been here the entire time Ferk has been here, and uh, it's been really exciting to see him develop as a player every year. He becomes more versatile every year. Uh, I think his route craft continues to improve, and uh, I'm really excited to see what he could, could turn on this year.